Welcome back, friends, with more of The Legend of Vox Machina. This is Season 3, Episode 3. Last time, Percy nearly got changed into a servant of the leader of Ankarel. Thankfully, Mythcarver saved our butts. Ripley got away, though, with a fake vestige, and it turns out the real one is in hell. Looking forward to seeing our adventures into such a ridiculous realm. Should be a hoot. Everybody's dreading it, except for Grog, who is just so hyped for the trip. And I think it's been a while since he's gotten to rage, so maybe that plays a part into it. Alright, last episode until the next batch on Thursday. Full reactions on Patreon in the link in the description below. Leave a like and let's get started. They cannot hurt you. I will not let them. Yes. Whoa. Vox Machina has proven more elusive than I expected. But I will discover their location. Aha! Uh -huh. Will you? Are you withholding something? Yes. The one withholding my cure. Be grateful. I allow your treacherous lungs to grow. Breath. Treacherous? That You're the treacherous one. Just makes you paranoid. Uh oh. Anyone who delivers Vox Machina will get rice shards a share of our empire. Whoa. I give you two days. They poke the bear. Me to my, the corpses of our enemies shall be your cradles, and they wow. eternal agony. Your milk. Holy crap. Wait. Bullseye. That's uh, the omen. Actually, it's supposed to mean good luck. That's what Especially they in Rome. That's just what they tell people. I should have Romance. nest in my bedroom years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Grog, are you sensing? Fucking weird. <laughs> Vox Machina conquered hell Where the demon Xerxes dwells On a chariot of flame They sang out his name Still on the demon god cast a spell <laughs> Even if we go, how would we get there? An old ally of ours Dola? No way That bitch Dola. is dead Oh, don't be dramatic It's been years Ooh, keep it with the hot god Spill it, girl our oh, Grog. They guard a hidden rift to the hells. This is uh. We sort of need this thing, guys. <laughs> Think you can bury the battle axe long enough to get us into hell? Uh. I don't believe uh. leaving Whitestone unprotected. I assure you, we'll be fine. Mm. She's gorgeous. He's not listening. While you're gone, perhaps I'll cut down the sun tree and build an extreme <laughs> canoe. Right. <laughs> Sounds lovely. Uh huh. You're smitten. Uh -huh. What if I am? Doesn't deny it. It's not like I can act on it. Why not? Uh, women aren't some mysterious code. When one invites you to her room, you go. <gasps> oh, give a shove, give a shove. Good for you. Just go kiss her. Fuck it. Fuck her. Who is it? Percival. I was hoping. There's the nudity I was promised. Would you like to talk before or after? After's good. <laughs> Sit. Sure, oh, this is awkward. Oh, she's. Uh, I forgive you. We can't you. be together. Oh shit. <laughs> the contrast here. Trouble. Shush. Long after we're gone. After oh. I'm gone. So joy today isn't worth pain tomorrow. I just can't bear the idea of putting you through that. As a team, we take risks all the time. We're going to goddamn hell for a piece of armor, but you won't risk anything for me. Uh oh. If, you're if you had seen what I have. Just get out! <sighs> and she's like, get in! God, she feels so alone. How's the soundproofing on these rooms? You ever get the chance to tell someone how you feel and you, you just kind of chicken out? <sighs> yeah. No matter how bad you messed up with Kaylee, I'm here. Oh. Oh. Whoa! Not what I meant. Shit, not? Shit, shit. I, I, I thought. Oh, oh, what the? It, it's Fuck, fine. I don't know what's really wrong is. with me. Oh, no. Nothing's wrong. I'm nice. go back to my magical nightclub and punch myself in the face. Wait. Don't beat wait yourself for... that much up. Have you been out here the entire time? <sighs> Are you leaving? That's <laughs> a little, little grin on his face. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I was uh. just a... <laughs> Draconia. Two Draconia. Right, right. Yes. <laughs> that was amazing. I don't want to mess up another tree. Where do you think you're going? Oh, Yo, yikes. Hell? Jared? <sighs> First off, 
quite a time to leave your home unprotected. Uh -huh. If you try anything while we're away, I swear. You have two days, not a minute more. What is the deal with you three? Ex-lovers? Being in dangerous situations with someone you're close to can lead to friction. Uh, She'll what kind of friction? Buckle the fuck up. Oh boy. Dola, good to see you. My gods, I've missed you. And Kima the Mighty, Kima the Brave. Ow. Damn. How little you've changed. Wow. Your message did catch <laughs> me by surprise. If the Despath Gateway can help, the Draconian people are more than willing to share it. Well, this is a nicer... Hey friends, it's a bit of a trek. Welcome Try not to fall behind. I expected. See the, the upside that's pulled. <laughs> have to be. Oh. Ah, Kiki. This is it. Oh. Sorry, this is what? <sighs> the hidden entrance, of course. It takes more than one to open the gateway, and it can only be done from this side. So some of you need to stay. Oh. It's fine. We'll go through, find the plate, and get the hell out of there. Pun intended. The gateway cannot remain indefinitely. <laughs> we'll reopen it in exactly 12 hours. 12? But I ain't got enough fingers. Anybody got 12 fingers? No. Good luck, Box Machina. Bye. Bye. Oh, jeez. Are they going to make up in hell? That would be very cute. Won't be needing jackets. This, the capital of hell. Oh, this, the capital? A rock. What are you on about? What? This is a city. Yeah, and this is a rock. Oh my god. Can we please focus on real <laughs> shit, guys? Yeah. Holy oh, crap. <sighs> Tormented souls. Evil of our world. I gotta say, D, I was a little nervous after how we left things. I mean, me and Allie getting together. Listen, uh -huh. I'm sorry. Kimma, we're adults. There were crushes, but we had a job to do. It was huh. always clear that you two were destined for each other. Mature. So... You weren't, like, butthurt? In all these years, I haven't given it a single thought. You could have been a thruple. Shouldn't we talk about what that was? Call it a tryst. Huh. Call it a mistake. Call it whatever you want. Whoa. I want to know what you want. Unless you're too scared to say it. Whoa. I am not scared. <laughs> you poked a bear. Oh, shit, dragon. We need to find cover. Which dragon is it? I didn't see. I guess the dragon race doesn't count. Oh crap. We're safe here. You were Not saying. for long. Oh hey! You two okay? What the hell? You'll hear us. I'm checking on the others. Something you should be doing. Oh, there is some bitterness, it seems. Oh. Oh. You all right down there? Never better. You're taking us further from the gateway. We need to be back to reopen it for our friends. What's happening? As if you care. The fuck? Of course we do. Forgive me. Shit. You have a history of leaving allies in the dust. Oh, fucking hell. When the time came for accolades, you two wound up on the council of Taldore, living in a fancy ivory tower. While I landed back here in the snow. Oh. I'm sorry. We both are. So what? what is this? What did... That's nice to hear. Is it too late? But a bit too late. Draconia never abandoned me, and I will not abandon them. God damn it. What are you doing? Calling him? You sentenced us to death! Not us. You. The dragons have sworn to spare my people. And <sighs> after I turn you over... Are we joining the fight? How do we oh shut god. This thing off? Shit. So boned. And not I in the nice way from last so night. Don't worry, I won't fight. I swallow my prey whole. He's a swallower, got it. Oi. <laughs> oh, that's fun. 
How are we getting back up to open the portal? Oh, wait. Oh, that's not good. Oh, shit. How the heck do we get out of this? Come on, you overgrown idiot. You should have finished them by now. What are you waiting for? Shouldn't have done that. Still tried to save her. With your out with your real feelings. We both know there's something between us. Maybe, but I'm not ready to say what you want to hear. Relationships are dangerous. It's like I'm a bad omen. No. Oh. I'm willing to take that chance. She's not willing to not put you in that danger. Care about you, which is why we can't be more than just a fling. <sighs> As you like. There's no way out. <sighs> Our friends are trying to find a vestige in the worst place imaginable. <laughs> Jeez. Oh. But I know they'll be okay. Because I know their hearts. Oh, that light doesn't shine here. You know Kima's heart too. We have to believe it's going to be alright. And if it isn't, then nothing matters. <laughs> Uh, so the vision of Keyleth alone was about her outliving all of them. I knew that she could and eventually would. I just didn't think that's what the vision was about, so I said it jokingly. But Vax, Vax, choosing not to be with her because it'll hurt her in the long run. So what? Like, you're gonna avoid making her feel sad and lonely in the future by making her feel sad and lonely now? Like, she'll still be sad and lonely when you all die regardless. Like, I can sympathize with him being confused by the visions, that vision of her crying at their grave was right after he kissed her after all, and he might not fully understand what's happening with all these visions, but I'm just waiting for him to have a change of heart and see how they're going to move forward with this. I joked that they might be able to figure it out in hell, but maybe that's what it'll take. And yeah, their sad meeting in the middle of the night was contrasted with Vex and Percy. Gosh, and it was funny how obvious Percy was being and Cassandra was actually egging him on, actually shoved him to go have sex with Vex. Kind of a hot scene, Vex just met him at the door, naked, a true power move. And then there was that fantastic scene in the morning with Percy and Vex. Vax just frozen there and Percy's in his mind just like, don't mention you fucked his sister, don't mention you fucked his sister. Uh, and they're twins, right? Maybe at just the right angle, Vax can sometimes look like Vex, so I'm sure Percy was very confused. Kind of really sad that Vax was just outside Keyleth's door the entire night though. Those two need to figure it out and just get together already. And then there was Pike and Scanlan. Scanlan kind of overreacted with his self-flagellation after Pike let him know he misread a sign. Definitely feels like he's been beating himself up a lot recently. And yeah, almost everybody was coupled up throughout the night. Uh, I'm curious what Grog was doing and was Trinket in Whitestone too. Please nobody write sexy fanfiction of the two of them together. Please don't make that a thing. Anyway, so Thordak somehow knew that Vox Machina escaped his flames, yet he didn't see that it was Raishan who saved them. Still a dick to Raishan though, and I'm not sure why Raishan tried to provoke him though, she said his power made him paranoid, just leave it alone. Instead, he tasks her with finding Vox Machina with just, within just two days, and he also sends Morgul to deal with them as well. Frickin, he knew where to go because of Dola. She and others helped Allura and Kima lock away Thordak all those years ago, and now she's sided with the dragons out of bitterness. I mean, on one hand, I can't imagine the crew of Vox Machina permanently going their separate ways without actually talking things out and making sure that everybody was going to be good. On the other hand, Dola could have been like, hey, I want to stick around. Do you have a place for me here? She could have communicated something to them instead of just holding it all in. Instead, they thought she might just feel slighted that they wound up together. Oh my god. But yeah, Vorigal would be trouble even if our whole team was there to deal with him, but most of them went to hell. Vex stayed behind and Percy followed suit, trying to talk to her about what they are. And well, after a very fun night, a fling is all it can be for now. That's kind of really sad. Also unrelated, kind of related. I wonder how it feels to have your characters hook up when in real life, you aren't hooking up and in fact one of your romantic partners is at the very table. Like I guess they're doing this in an effort to tell a good story, so like whatever it takes. Just can't get too lost in the fantasy at some point. But yeah, lots of almost but not quite romance in this episode, and lots of setup for the next batch of episodes. There's a dragon on the outside that we have to deal with. I, I can't imagine how we deal with him unless Raishan comes to the rescue somehow. Uh, we got to see a bit of hell though. I, I hope it's everything Grog hoped it would be. 
watch it be like way too traumatic and he just completely comes out a ball of anxiety. Please don't let that happen. And I wonder if they'll pass by the new arrival section in Hell and come by Dola. That would be pretty wild, right? But I also wonder who else they could run into in here. Oh shit, the Briarwoods? Could you imagine? That would be, oh man, that'd be so wild. But alright, that's gonna be it for this week, folks. Thanks for watching. Full reactions on Patreon in the link in the description below. Leave a like, and I'll see you guys soon with more. Bye, friends.